The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hey, it's me again. I haven't posted anything since March 3rd, and I was reminded yesterday that I should probably post an update. So that's what I'm going to do here really fast. Um, while I am in between train traffic in this town, good grief, you can hear that one finally getting out of here. Um, the waking beds are working like a charm. I mean, good grief, these things work awesome. Uh, as you can see, I got Swiss chard, kale, and bok choy in this, and then I have some pole beans that are climbing these strings. And on all of them, I put these strings on them that go up around that purlin on there, and then I use a bungee cord to maintain the tension on it. So, like in that one, I have pole beans, and then I have snow peas, more pole beans. See, I'm still planting stuff here. Planting and harvesting. I'm eating way too much salad for my own good. <laughs> I'm getting my second row of wicking beds put in here, and I'm still following Rob Bob's design where you take the other half of that cage on the IBC tank, um, disconnect it, turn it upside down, cut off the excess, and they don't have to be bolted on. Uh, they're going to stay in place, especially once you get that uh, wicking bed filled up with soil and all the other stuff. So no need to bolt them back down, but I'm getting started on that. Some of these were just planted, oh, a couple weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, maybe, I don't know. But as you see, I got dill, pole beans, who knows what else. I know there's cilantro, parsley, basil, oh, and then some radish seeds that I thought were shot, but I guess they weren't. Got more snow peas there. This one really kind of went bonkers. Um, I got daikon radishes over there and then uh, greenhouse cucumbers that don't need to be pollinated by a bug over here. They're, they're either going to climb the strings or on the floor. And I threw some spinach seeds in there that I thought were shot but they turned out to be good as well. Go figure. I guess they do last quite a while in storage. And, okay, what else have I done here? <clears throat> oh, been battling the wind in Nebraska, and the wind kept blowing the louvers shut on my exhaust fans. So, went and got some of these hoods. That seemed to have solved the problem completely. And that wasn't a bad expense either. They were, I don't know, they were like $38 each. Well worth it. I'm getting my crap out of here today because I'm going to start building my first tower rack. I have red cedar for the base. That's going to be an interesting project. But what I really wanted to show people is that uh, in that video on the greenhouse brain, I showed people the heating coil in the tilapia tank. They said, good grief, that water is filthy. Well, not now. See if the camera will focus in there. The water's really clear now. And the reason that it's that clear is, you know, this is the cheapest and easiest filter there is to make. And effective, too. Five-gallon bucket with a bunch of holes drilled around the bottom with a spade bit. You fill the bottom half with polyester batting. Put your pump in there and put more polyester batting on top. Works like a charm. And that water cleared up this I don't know, this pump or filter has been in there for a month now. It's still working. It's not plugged up to the point that water won't pump through it. But that sure solved the problem real fast-like. And what else? The, the brain, the greenhouse pie, the brain, I have made zero changes to it. It's still chugging along just fine. Nothing has burned up. Uh, I can't believe how lucky I got. Built that thing and pretty much did everything on theory and how I expected it to work. And it did. I had a guy recently post a comment on that video calling me 
a libertarian and a walking contradiction because I <laughs> won't release the source code that runs on it. I'm going, you know, there's no documentation. There are no schematics for anything. There's nothing. What? This is only going to work for somebody if they have the exact same setup I have. Um, as for calling me a libertarian, I wish I knew why that is the common thing these days. If, if you disagree with somebody, the first thing that most people do anymore is call that person a member of some political party that they don't approve of or some religion. I don't engage in politics or religion. I get along just fine on this planet not worshiping invisible men in the sky or visible men in Washington, D.C. Um, get over it. If I do decide to release things, it's going to be in the form of an SD card that you can plug into a Raspberry Pi. And the code is going to be a web API with example uh, PHP code for a front end that you can use as a skeleton for your own design. But it'll work perfectly fine out of the box. That's the plan. Uh, what else? I have a big pile of shade cloth there because I had some friends come over and help me with this to build a pentagon shaped, I don't know, it's not really a pergola, over the pond to help keep the sunlight out of there and reduce algae because the intention is to pump the water from the pond into the side of the greenhouse into a big swirl filter that I can use to feed the wicking beds with or fertilize them with. Uh, there's no big deal about it being that close to the greenhouse. I know I've had some people say, gosh, that's going to create a shadow, um, but it's only six feet tall. And in the wintertime, even when the sun is really low in the sky, like the first day of winter, I checked it out there, and even my own head, I'm six feet tall, uh, even my own head only created a shadow about uh, three feet up on the side of the greenhouse. So it's not a big deal. See, anything else? I can't really think of anything else. Replanted this because I'm, well, summer's coming up and I might be able to get one more batch of lettuce out of it because it'll be too hot to grow lettuce out here. Um, not really sure what I will grow in that in the summertime, if anything. Um, but that's pretty much it. So this is my project later today. After I finish filling this bed with potting soil and get that planted, I'm going to start chopping up those cedar 2x6s to make the base for my first tower rack. Still got to get into town and figure out how I am going to get one inch electrical conduit, the steel stuff over here. Maybe the people at the store will be nice and chop it into five foot sections for me since that's what I need. So I think I'm going to cut this off here and get back to work. I don't know if the sun's going to come out today or not, but as long as it's cloudy and rainy, I can get a lot done in here because it's awfully cozy. But that's about it. Take it easy, people. I will uh, catch you the next time around. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember to post an update before three months or two months rolls around. Whatever. Close enough. Take it easy. Bye.